hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to send email from the backend side i mean in the python side and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add attachments in email template please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands under this playlist you can see odoo development and here different playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that one also and we have a different social media pages to make sure to subscribe those pages to get the latest notification if you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button let's back to our main topic like how you can send your email from the backend side all right using the email template if you already know we created a new module right especially for the email template and this is the email template so now i will try to add here one simple method in the student profile and using the button click event it will automatically send email all right so for that i will try to create here a one method def send email template like this and here we will use this email template so here the question is how you can access this email template using this xml id right so by default odoo already provides the one feature which is the reference right based on that one we will get the record set from the database so we don't need to search anywhere so self dot env dot ref and here we will try to paste here the xml id plus this module name and i will try to call here so this is the record set here and i will try to call here one method so the method name is send underscore name like this and here we have to pass the specific uh, let's say the id of that record so for that simple i will use here the self dot id all right and that's it i will try to add this button uh, so this method in uh, view and so you can see this is our form view and i will add here button name type equal to object and string equal to like send mail all right and simple i will try to upgrade the school underscore student module why because we change in the xml side and if you don't know how to configure this odoo in pycharm like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained all right now i will try to go to in the student profile in the list view and in the form view and i will try to refresh the page so you can see send mail is here right and once i will click here you can see it will automatically send mail and if there is any error is there it will automatically pop up here so we can understand so let me duplicate this tab in the, the settings technical email and emails so here all the emails what we received or what we uh, what the email sends from the system right it will store here and you can see it's in a blue tick means it's still outgoing email right and attachment you can see here this too and another thing is once you click to send now after that it will automatically send this email but you can see delivery failed why because we didn't configure here outgoing email all right so due to that it's not sent from the odoo 
it's rejected because we didn't configure outgoing email configuration but yeah let's say from the backend side here you want to forcefully send this email right you don't need to also uh, wait for the cron job so here you can also mention or let's say you can also pass here one more attribute like force equal to send and you have to pass here the boolean value true true all the false by default it's a false and let's say if you pass here as a true it means it will send immediately all right it won't be wait for the cron job so let me restart the service but i will not upgrade this module one more time because we didn't change anything in the xml and only restart the service and again i will try to use let's say sitaraman okay i'm trying to send this email and now you can see here here you can see total nine record is here right so it successfully sent without any error and i will try to refresh the screen and you can see here the another record is also available here and you can see the sitaraman is here like this with the attachment all right so like this way you can send email from the backend side i hope it's clear this one line of code all right you don't need to add a lot of code to send email so this is very easy the first thing is you have to create your email template right like this uh, not this one this one and you can reuse this one to here for each and every record set all right and our next session should be what is the difference between jinja 2 template and qweb template engine specifically for the email templates all right if you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session